here in Kentucky, let's let's look at Kentucky. Um, <clears throat> these uh, the people for bikes uh, has a, a map of the U.S. and they have a color coded uh, so that they tell people. Um, you know, this state has model legislation. This state has, ex is acceptable. Uh, and this state is problematic. Uh, I think the only state that's problematic listed as problematic is Alaska. And I think Alaska could care less what you use your e-bike for. Now I don't, I personally don't find that problematic. I personally think that that's great. That's the way it should be. Uh, but that's not the way it is. Okay. Kentucky is listed as acceptable. Uh, we don't have any model legislation and I'm going to tell you, here's a little bit about what Kentucky's says. It says Kentucky, an electric bicycle is defined as a bicycle. So long as the electric bicycle has operable pedals and can be operated under combined human and motor power. The same rules of the road apply to both electric bicycles and human powered bicycles. Electric bicycles are not subject to registration, licensing, or insurance requirements that apply to motor vehicles. Helmets are not required and there's no minimum age for electric bicycle use. Electric bicycles are allowed on sidewalks and bike paths. Uh, and here is their, uh, Kentucky's electric bicycle laws for trails. <clears throat> local, it says consult your local land management agency. Well, here where I live, uh, I know that all of our mixed use trails, e-bikes are fine on. Um, there's no uh, law as to that but I have been assured that they are, they will not make laws against that. Now, personally, I don't know if that's the case or not, because I, I have been for, for, you know, I've been riding e-bikes now for a couple of years and I can see you have a lot of these people who walk the trails with earbuds in. And I had an experience myself where I came up behind this woman. She was walking right in the middle of the trail and I hollered out, uh, coming up behind you, passing on the left. She obviously did not hear me. She kept right on right in the middle of the trail. Uh, I, again, when I got a little closer, shouted, coming up behind you, passing on your left. Again, she never faltered from her, from her pace. She never moved over. And I could see when I got a little closer that she had earbuds in. Well, I said, okay, I'm just, there's a wide spot in the trail up here. When I hit that wide spot, I'm just going to go around her. So I get to the wide spot in the trail. I cut out around her. And as I go past her, she screams bloody murder because she was absolutely into whatever she was listening to. She did not hear me either time when I shouted because she had her music or whatever it was turned up. Uh, and it scared her when I went around her. I looked back after I had gone around her and I said, I shouted, I announced myself two times and she gave me a like that and I could just see somebody like that going to uh, city council or uh, some governing body uh, fiscal court in our county and saying, look, you need to ban bikes on these trails. They're for walkers. 
I can see that happening. And I can see people, uh, you know, I can see uh, uh, that becoming something. Uh, it shouldn't. Because, first of all, they shouldn't be listening to something that they can't hear somebody coming up behind them or whatever, especially if they announce themselves like I did. And uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where it's going to go, but I hope it doesn't go anywhere. I've been assured by the people, by some of the people in local government, that it'll never happen, that they're going to maintain mixed use trails and that e bikes are fine. But as long, you know, as long as, as long as people act, uh, you always got bad actors. There are always bad actors. There are always people who will get out there and, and, you know, on a class three e-bike and just absolutely rip up the trails. Uh, there are a couple of guys, uh, I saw one guy on a trail and, uh, I was on my e-bike, he was on his, and he was ripping. He was, his was a class three, um, and he was an older guy. He was about my age, and he was absolutely ripping it, and I don't, you know, his was a high dollar, uh, store-bought e-bike, and, and that's fine, but it, you know, I, I just, uh, you got to act like you got a little sense, you know, you can't go out there uh, on a mixed use trail. You, you, you know, uh, some of the trails, some of the mixed use trails, I can go all day and never see a walker or a, for that matter, uh, anybody. Uh, some of them, you can guarantee that you're going to run into people, uh, walkers mainly, uh, usually with earbuds. Uh, a lot of times groups, family groups, uh, with little kids, uh, uh, people walking their dogs. Um, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> all right. Here it says, uh, back to Kentucky's, uh, trail laws. The Kentucky Department of Local Government State Parks does not currently have an e-mountain e bike policy. Contact the department for the most up-to-date information. People for Bikes is monitoring this policy and will update this document as needed. Well, they do kind of have a policy because we have uh, a rail trail in the state of Kentucky that I had planned to go ride on my e-mountain bike. And uh, when I was researching it, I found out that it is operated or uh, it falls under the auspices of the state park system. And uh, in reading, I mean, I saw, <clears throat> I had watched other people who had done it on regular bikes and I saw where people said, you know, where there were signs posted, uh, no motorized vehicles. And I thought, well, they just mean no motorcycles, no mini bikes, no go-karts, no four wheelers, that kind of thing. Well, uh, then I read on the, on the, uh, state parks website, something about, uh, e-bikes not being allowed on state park trails and so i sent off an email to the state park system and i said i want to go ride dawkins line which is a uh, rail trail about 30 miles long and i got an email back saying no e-bikes are not allowed and i don't get it. Uh, I just don't understand why e-bikes would not be allowed on a rail trail. And this is over in Eastern Kentucky 
it's it's in a relatively um, mountainous region of the state um, and I don't know that this dock and line I mean they allow horses on it they allow maybe that's it maybe they're afraid the e-bike's gonna spook a horse I don't know maybe they've been in contact with the people up in Mackinac Island but uh, somehow or another they've decided that e-bikes are not allowed on that trail and I don't understand it. Uh, I, 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 I wrote my state senator and I said, hey, the state needs to set guidelines and they need to be reasonable. And, uh, you know, and he sent me back a reply that said uh, <clears throat> something about the the popularity of e-bikes and the speeds at which they can attain. He didn't think he could garner any support for any e-bike uh, legislation in the state at this time. So I don't know. Now there's another, there's another uh, caveat to this federal lands. Uh, we have national forests. We have national parks in the state. And here on federal lands, it says, on federal lands, e-mountain bikes are considered motorized vehicles and have access to motorized trails. Contact the U.S. Forest Service Southern Regional Office for the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area, Mammoth Cave National Park, or the TVA for more information. Well, uh, there is a rail trail at Mammoth Cave National Park. Um, it's only 18 miles long, but it's a, it's a pretty decent trail. And, uh, I read, I rode it a couple of years ago. And when I rode it, I did some research and I think Mammoth Cave has it right. Mammoth Cave National Park you can ride class one e-bikes the same as bicycles they're treated exactly like bicycles class two e-bikes are allowed but you are not allowed to operate the bike on throttle only so in other words inside the park you may use a class two e-bike but you cannot use the throttle to exclusively operate the bicycle. Now that is a smart policy. I can, I can agree with that. I can go along with that. And class three bikes are not allowed. And I can agree with that. Absolutely. Don't have a problem with that. Um, If, in my opinion, if you want a class three e-bike, you don't really want a bicycle. You want a motorcycle, an electric motorcycle. And a lot of them, a lot of them are, a lot of them don't have pedals. Uh, some do, uh, but they still, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, they're allowed 27 or 28 miles an hour on a class three. Uh, and that's too fast. That's too fast for, for a, uh, for a shared trail where you're going to have walkers and, and, other, you know, runners and stuff like that. I, I agree with that's too fast on there. Uh, rail trails are, tend to be straight. They tend to be, uh, now the one at Mammoth Cave is not straight, nor is it uh, flat. It is hilly in places. So there are areas where it's straight and flat. And on those areas, I would recommend, you, you know, uh, I think 
uh, 20, 20 miles an hour limit there is is generous because you don't need to be going any faster than that on a, on a bike anyway, in my opinion. Okay, so anyway, that's Kentucky's guidelines. Be alert. Uh, this this uh, people for bikes is a uh, good reference to go to uh, if you are looking to travel outside your state. Uh, be aware of the laws. Don't get in trouble. Enjoy your e-bikes.